Welcome back to From Simmer to Sizzle. I'm Nikki. And I'm Jacob. <laughs> Why do I say that? What are we making today? What are we making today, Jacob? Welcome back to From Simmer <laughs> to Sizzle. I'm Nikki. And I'm Jacob. And today we're making something fun. Yeah, this is a recipe I think you'll really like. I wonder why we're making this. <laughs> we're making four cheese pasta mm -hmm. with some chicken in it. Kind of like from the Cheesecake Factory because it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And Jacob decided to make it because he wanted to. Because it's a very special day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell him what it is. <laughs> it's our one month anniversary. <laughs> Yeah, so we're making uh, four cheese, uh, fettuccine alfredo, some chicken. It's baked in like casserole. Mm, it's gonna be really great. good. It's all the things Nikki mm. likes. Um, we're also gonna make a um, a blood orange mocktail and like a blood orange gimlet. Gimlet. Uh, but those will come much later in the show once uh, we've got our stuff in the oven. So um, in the meantime, we need to get started on our food. Uh, we got to get some pasta boiling. And then we're gonna get everything else mixed up. Yes. So what are we gonna do first? We're gonna cut. Okay. okay so we got our noodles going. <laughs> okay. So we got. So we just got started on our noodles. We're waiting for the water to boil. Mm -hmm. And what do we gotta do in the meantime? So we're gonna mix up the rest of the stuff that we need. Uh, grab that. Well, yes. This is our cheese. Grab the pot. We're just gonna toss everything. Well, except the cheese, actually. That gets stirred in. Um, so we've got cream of mushroom soup. We got one can of cream of mushroom soup. Uh, we got a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Yeah, grab that. So we've got a stick of butter and a package of cream cheese. And then we need a cup of heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Yep, and that's the measuring cup we need right there. Yep. We just gotta combine all this. We'll combine everything except for the cheese and the chicken. That gets stirred in later. One cup. soup, our heavy whipping cream, we got our butter and our cream cheese and our garlic powder. We are going to throw this on the stove top, let it heat up, and then once it starts to warm up a little bit, we're going to stir in our cheese. And then once we've got that stirred in, we throw in two cups. This is already cooked. Uh, two cups of chicken that we just cubed. We are going to toss that in after we've mixed in the cheese. And then combine this with the noodles, bake it. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Anybody can do it. Yeah. So we're just stirring up our sauce, our Alfredo sauce, and we're waiting for our water to boil so that we can add in our noodles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got our, our, uh, all our stuff mixed up. It's getting nice and smooth while it melts. And then we're going to mix everything else in. Cheese, Parmesan cheese, and mozzarella cheese. 
I don't remember the exact amounts, but I'll put them on the screen. So just start tossing those in by the handful. I'll stir them in. This will help, like, thicken up the sauce. Go ahead and keep adding that. Chicken. Uh oh, we got a fly in here. Jacob, this is a lot. It'll be fine. <sighs> I think, what else are we going to use this chicken for? Throw it all in there. Chicken tacos. Put it all in a dish. sauce we got there is most of the work for this recipe. Um, basically once we boil the noodles we combine that uh, sauce with the noodles, put it into a baking pan and top it with breadcrumbs, some more Parmesan cheese and then we bake it. You know it's a really simple recipe. Alright so our noodles are done, our sauce is ready and we're gonna get this all into a baking pan Get it in the oven. Uh, we got it. There it is. Alright. So, add the noodles in? Yeah, just start putting those in. <laughs> Why can't we just dump it? I guess we could. tablespoons of melted butter and one to two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Mixed all that up and then once this is all mixed up I'm going to spread this over the top and then the whole thing goes in the oven. We're going to cover it. That's why we've got the aluminum there. Cover it, bake it at 355, 350 degrees for 25 minutes and then remove the cover, bake it for another 5 to 10 or until it's like golden brown. I'd say that's mixed up. You think? Let me take a look. Looks good. Yeah. It'll look better once it's done. Can I add this to the top? Yep. Just spread that over the top as best you can. It's kind of clumpy, but just break it up. <laughs> Wash your hands real quick. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. Then we're just gonna cover this, put it in the oven. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. 
So we're going to go with some uh, blood orange cocktails because I figure citrus would go well with a cream-based pasta like that. So Where's the recipe? Which recipe? The honey one. Honey and vanilla and all that. I just moved it off the counter. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a sparkling blood orange mocktail. Um, So we need blood orange juice. That's the little bottle there. Yeah. I'm also going to need the jigger. I'm making it. I'm, I'm okay, going to measure. Okay, but we need the jigger so we can measure it. And you shake. Mm-hmm. Because that's how we do this thing. What do we okay. need? We need honey. Honey. And vanilla extract. Honey. And vanilla. And I need the measuring spoons, whichever. So we're going to cut this recipe in half because it makes enough for two drinks. Um, so we'll need four ounces of that. Four? Put in shake. Yeah. Wow. Okay, mm-hmm. here we go. of the vanilla? One quarter of a teaspoon. Mm-hmm. One and a half teaspoons of honey. So one of each of these. That's okay. one teaspoon and one and a half. Okay, one. Oh, wait, I forgot this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jacob. Give this a nice good strain. Small drink? No. I also need to top it with tonic water. Wait, hold on, hold on. Whoa! I made a mess. (laughs) Got it. Can you even see it? A little bit. You can see it. Mm-hmm. Mm. You've also got a garnish. Oh, yes. I have a that. garnish. Bring it a little bit. I can just drop it in. That's okay. Nice. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like the, mm-hmm. There wasn't a slit on it, so I couldn't put it on the side. Ooh, that's good. Want to try it? drink we're gonna make a gimlet which is basically just gin and lime juice uh, we're gonna change it up a little bit because I've got this gin it's Malfi Conorancia it's um, a blood orange gin and um, it I'm... burns <laughs> she doesn't drink much it burns and we're gonna need some simple syrup and some lime juice so normally you would use two ounces of gin and a quarter ounce of lime juice and that's it this is already a pretty citrus heavy gin, so I'm just gonna use like a splash of lime juice and some simple syrup just to kind of even it out. Um, oh, you wanna measure, okay. I'm gonna measure it. So I want two ounces of gin. Okay. All right. How 
Jess. Uh, let's go with one quarter of an ounce. So it's the bottom one. Okay, get it. Oh, shit. Oh, that's, that's half an ounce. Whatever. <laughs> it's a little too much. Yeah, whatever. And then I'm just going to do a splash of lime juice. That's a little more than I wanted, but that's okay. Shake it on up. Mm hmm. You know what this needs? A little bit of sparkle. Okay. Just a little. Move it over. Don't spill it. I help you. That's plenty. No, it's not. That's plenty. Can you really see it? Yeah, get it from the top. You can see it pretty well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. Yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. ready to serve and it looks really good yep so we added a couple more breadcrumbs since you've last seen it but it had uh, about 30 minutes in the oven maybe a little bit more uh, since we uncovered it to let it brown a little bit but I think it's all good so I'm gonna scoop some into a bowl here yeah. well, all right not. lost all the noodles that's why we should Yeah, maybe we should have used that you put it away I got it out. should make this yourself. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very cheesy. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chickeny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any video ideas, just leave them down in the comments below. Well, you did the whole thing. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to watch us next time. Bye! Bye!